Hello there, Messenger Marketers. MKJ from Bot Academy here, and I'm on to part two of how to discover the niche that will bring you profits in your agency. Okay, you ready? The first one, the first uh, video we did together was uh, basically tackling three things. You already know now, if you've watched that first video, please go watch that if you haven't yet. Okay, click that link and go to watch video one. Um, so you already know if you did that, what lights you up and you know what solution you can create for the niche that you wanna participate in. And you know if those prospects in that niche can actually afford that solution. Okay, so you've figured out those three things. Now, that's amazing. But next you need to find those people and speak the language that they understand so that they know you are the perfect person. You are the perfect agency to create the solution that exactly fits what they need. Okay, so let's start with that. First off, now that you know what lights you up and what solution you can create and uh, if they can afford it, that's valuable information that you can now use to decide how are you going to communicate with this audience with this niche so that they understand you are the bee's knees, right? You are what they need to grow their business, the marketing solution for their business. So what do I mean by how do you speak to them? Well, when we visit any website, any bot, any email campaign, uh, we see any ad, the way the marketer that created that communicates to the people watching is going to determine whether or not the right people respond, all right? So if you're creating, let's say, a solution for MLM businesses or direct sales, you will need to speak the language that they understand. You will need to communicate in a way that shows them you get them, you are one of them. So based on the first video, when you did that work, now you can take that work and turn it into copy. Turn it into headline hacks, headline information that shows this niche, shows this audience that you're it. You got you speak their language. So you'll say things uh, like, um, are you uh, finding it difficult to get commitments from your downline? Or are you finding it difficult um, for, to find uh, people as passionate as you are to become your downline, right? Those, the words you use will attract the people who need you. You don't want a brand new, right? You don't want, you don't necessarily want a brand new um, direct sales person who's just starting their business. You might want someone who's seen some success, but really wants more, really wants to figure out how to quote scale, right? You know that word, it's been bantered around like crazy. <laughs> but you want someone who already has had some success that now just wants more. So you wanna speak to them. You don't wanna speak to the newbies unless that's who you wanna go after. If you wanna go after the newbies, speak to the newbies. If you wanna go after the, um, the more established, then speak in a way that the more established direct sales marketers or the direct sales uh, professionals will understand that you understand where they are in their business. So once you can speak and you've identified with yourself who you wanna work with, you can speak that language that shows you get them, you understand them. And that's the first step in marketing, speaking the right language. You have to do that in chatbots too, no different. You need to do it, especially if you're an agency, you need to be able to speak that language. All right, so once you understand that, I kinda of look at it as um, you don't wanna speak Norwegian to people from Spain, right? Or vice versa. You don't want to speak Spanish to Norwegians, right? You want to understand who you're speaking with and speak the right language, okay? Then they will understand that they can know, like, and trust you enough to get further in your bot, further in your marketing, okay? So that's the next thing you need to do. And I'm talking direct copywriting here, right? I'm talking you need to understand what words to use. So write those down. Write down the slang words they use, the um, you know the the different um, vernacular, you know the different uh, colloquial. You know what I'm talking about. I don't want to use big words. The the types of words that they will understand, so that you speak exactly to the person who needs you. Speak the right language, and the right people will come. 
Okay. So next, that's great. Now you understand, you speak their language, you've created a chat bot that speaks directly to those people. Now, how will those people find you? How in the world will these people find you? Well, this is again, marketing 101. How are you going to be visible? Where are you going to be in this social media sphere, in this internet space that we all inhabit? So what you need to do is figure out how you're going to communicate with them at, that they will find you. So are you gonna be on Facebook? Um, are you going to create a Facebook business page? Obviously you will if you're gonna have a chat bot, right? Um, Facebook business page, a Facebook group. Are you gonna go live and uh, give value to this particular audience and then bring them into the bot? Are you going to be on Twitter? Are you going to be on Instagram? Where are you going to be? Where are these people? Where do they hang out? And what do you need to produce? to get them to see your content and understand that you have what they need. Uh, are you going to be on your website and do a, a customer chat function on your website? Are you going to do Facebook ads? Are you gonna do Instagram ads? Are you gonna start a YouTube channel? How are you going to communicate? Where are you going to communicate? And how will these people find you? Many times what uh, most of our students do in Bot Academy Bootcamp is they go into the different, um, social platforms that they're going to use that they know their audience actually uh, frequents. And they go into the different groups that are associated with this particular niche. Now, I do not advocate you going into these groups and just selling. That's not what I'm talking about. So hear me out. What I did in the beginning and what many of our students do with great success is they go into some of these groups and answer questions. So almost everybody, this type of, of marketing is becoming much more um, widely known. So when you go into some of these groups, whether it's LinkedIn or Facebook, you will be able to ask, you'll be able to see who's asking questions. So you can do searches. Who's asking questions about chatbots? Who's asking questions about Messenger? Who's asking questions about marketing, right? And conversations and chat. Any of those keywords you can search and you'll be surprised how many people are talking about this. When you come up with one of these posts that is asking questions about chatbots or marketing, answer them. Take your expertise and use it to great effect. Help these people in these different groups and show them, don't just show them what you know, but show them that you have the answers. And nine times out of 10, the people who might become your client or are a more hot prospect for what you offer aren't necessarily the people who are asking the questions. It's usually the people that are on the sidelines, watching and listening. That's where I've gotten my clients, not from the person who asked the question. That's usually the person who's looking for a solution on their own, right? But the people who are watching are going, yeah, that's interesting. I need that in my business, but I am not willing to learn how to do it. I would rather just hire someone who knows. And you just offered yourself up as a person who knows. So usually you get clients from all the people watching, not the people actually asking the question. That audience is gonna be much larger, all right? So go for that audience. Okay, so now you have those two things. You have the first three from the first video that we talked about, what lights you up, know what solution you can create for that audience, and know if they can afford you, very important things. And now you also understand how are you going to speak to this audience to make sure that they get that you understand what they need. And then where are they hanging out and how are they gonna find you? So if you need to build a chat bot that specifically speaks to that specific audience's pain and show how you can be the solution, that you understand and have the solution for that pain, then build a chat bot, do a Facebook Live, do a Facebook ad, do a, start a YouTube channel talking all about this niche, get on podcasts to talk about how you can serve this niche. Um, you know, have other summits, you know, find out if there are any online summits or speaking opportunities you can have to this niche. Get in front of these people wherever it is they hang out and show them that you have that solution and then make sure they can find you, all right? There you now have how to choose a niche that is going to get you to a profitable pitch. All right, hope that helped. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. Ciao.